Miles Teller is certainly a heartthrob across many genres in Hollywood. He's been acting since the 2000s and has certainly had his share of blockbuster hits and Academy Award-nominated flicks. For those who were unaware of him before, 2022 is likely the year they learn his name. With projects like Spiderhead and Top Gun, Maverick, he has added some great new movies to his already impressive filmography. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Miles Teller. He started acting because he thought his drama teacher was pretty hot. Teller grew up in a very rural and southern small town in Florida and attended Lakanto High School. His venture into acting came about rather by chance at the end of his sophomore year when he tagged along with a friend who was auditioning for a play. After partaking in his first production, he was hooked. It didn't hurt that his drama teacher, Beth Bede, was pretty hot, which he told The Guardian was the reason he started acting. He then went on to prestigious Tisch School of the Arts at New York University to further his acting studies. He starred in Footloose in high school and again on the big screen. When he was a part of the school's drama club, one of the shows he performed was Footloose, where he played Willard, the psychic to the protagonist Ren. Six years later, at the age of 24, he was cast in the film version of the same role. For his performance, Elle called him a breakout star, and the film's director, Craig Brewer, gushed to the magazine, saying, When Miles would come in to read, I was just like, this is my secret weapon. He survived a car accident. In 2007, Teller and two friends were speeding home from a music festival when their car skidded, jumped three lanes on the highway, and flipped eight times. Thrown more than 30 feet from the car, Teller needed 20 staples to fix his shoulder and underwent several months of painful laser surgeries to smooth over the gashes on his face and neck. However, he still has some pieces of gravel embedded in his face, which his doctors said would cause even more damage if removed than if left alone. For a while, his appearance after the car accident stood in the way of his acting ambitions. He told ABC, When I first started auditioning, people were straight up just like, yeah, Miles is a good actor, but it doesn't make sense for this character to have scars. Interestingly enough, the actor has gone on to star in multiple films that involve car crashes like Rabbit Hole, Bleed for This, and Whiplash. He almost turned down his role opposite Tom Cruise in Top Gun, Maverick. Top Gun, Maverick, the sequel to the 1986 classic has been highly anticipated as it arrives 35 years after the original film. Teller plays the role of Lieutenant Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, the son of the beloved Goose from the original movie. However, Teller took his time and truly toyed with the idea of saying no to the role. In an interview with Men's Health, he explained that he was apprehensive about taking the role because he didn't want it to make him too famous. He said, There was a part of me that didn't know if I wanted to be a part of something that could bring that much attention and success to me. When Tom Cruise handpicks you to be his co-star in a movie and to play the son of Goose, those are big shoes to fill. So I just felt like if Tom thinks I'm the right guy, then I think I'm the right guy too. He taught himself how to play the drums. Throughout his early years, Teller dabbled in different instruments and as a result, can play the piano and saxophone. He was also in the marching band in middle school and even played in a youth group church rock band. In an interview with Jimmy Fallon, he revealed a pretty remarkable fact, he taught himself how to play the drums at 15 because he thought drummers were the coolest guys. In the film Whiplash, Teller showcases his skills with a set of drumsticks. In the 2014 drama, the actor played a student at a music conservatory who endures the wrath of its ruthless band leader. The musically inclined actor actually did all of the drumming that was seen in the film. In fact, his character tries so hard at the instrument that he practices so ferociously that his hands bleed. And some of that blood on screen is actually Teller's, as he confirmed to IndieWire, I did have some blood, not nearly as much as my character had. He's a co-owner of an alcoholic beverage company. Teller is an investor and pitchman for The Long Drink, a gin-based concoction based on a popular Finnish beverage. He first discovered the drink at a liquor store in New York City and shortly afterward accepted an offer to be a public face for the company. He told Fortune, I've been presented a lot of different things in the past, which I almost unanimously turned down because it can feel like a cash grab or product-wise isn't the right fit. But this checked all the boxes for me. He met his wife at a party for a rock band. It was at a grandma's afterparty for the rock band The Black Keys in 2013 that Miles Teller met his future wife, model, and actress Kelly Sperry. The pair had mutual pals, who were also friends of the Lonely Boy crooners. The actor explained that he noticed the brunette beauty early on in the evening and the two struck up a conversation. 
He told Vogue, I didn't think it went well, but after a few more attempts, I got her to dance with me, and a week later, we went on a date. After we met, I knew she was the one. They got engaged during a 2017 trip to South Africa and married on September 2019. He was nominated for an award for his kissing skills. Throughout his career, Miles Teller has been recognized for his outstanding work on screen. In 2014, the MTV Movie Awards rewarded Teller with a nomination for a very particular skill, lip-locking with Shailene Woodley in The Spectacular Now. The duo was beat out by Jennifer Aniston, Emma Roberts, and Will Poulter for their noteworthy smooch in Were the Millers. In an interview with MTV, Teller gave his tips on the proper kissing technique, which included take control, lock eyes, and compliment your partner. He worked out every day to significantly lower his body fat percentage for a role. Teller landed the leading role in Bleed for This, the true story of Vinny Pazienza, a boxer who broke his neck in a car accident at the height of his career. As a result of the accident, Pazienza had a metal brace screwed into the skull in four places and was told he could never fight again. Against the advice of his doctors, he started training from his basement and went on to not only box again but also to win multiple times. In order to play the legendary fighter, Teller had to undergo a significant physical transformation. At the start, he underwent blood work which determined that he was at 20% body fat and weighed 188 pounds. Because that was way bigger than Pazienza was, Teller worked with a nutritionist and was put on a diet that consisted of protein shakes, grilled chicken, and veggies. He also trained with Daryl Foster, who worked with world champion Sugar Ray Leonard. Foster told Men's Journal, I wanted Miles to show up to my gym like he was a boxer, not an actor. Teller trained every day for five months. He told Muscle and Fitness, Once I was boxing, day to day was four hours boxing, two hours of weights, maybe another hour of cardio. And in the end, he weighed 168 pounds, with only 6% body fat. He wanted to be a professional baseball player. Before Hollywood, Teller wanted to be a baseball player. He told the Associated Press, I would have went into baseball. If I was better at baseball, then that was like my first passion. Now, as an actor, he would like to one day star in a sports film. The actor roots for the Philadelphia Phillies because he was actually born in Downingtown, Pennsylvania, before moving to Florida. In fact, he's even thrown the first pitch in one of his beloved team's games. In 2015, he fulfilled his childhood baseball dreams by partaking in the All-Star Legends and Celebrity Softball Game, which occurs every year before the All-Star Game. He participated along with celebs like Snoop Dogg, Nick Lashey, and Macklemore. He told Esquire, I tell people that I was more excited for this than the Oscars.